Yeah, Shalom. <clears throat> Shalom. This is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of a savior, glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. So be it. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahar Kodash. A double honor to Mighty Church, the Apostles, the Elders, <coughs> and the Bishops of Great Millstone. Shall I warm to the Yakim, where we are the sincere and seriously doing the will of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Mukhar Kodash. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, Yam the brother, the disciple Kosha, and Yam from the branch of the great millstone, Barbados. In the book of 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in the Mashiach, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Yeah. So if any man be in the Masha, meaning you've been born again, right? St. John 3. St. John chapter 3. Verse 1 and verse 3, sorry. Yahweh will show you the answer and sell them. Verily, verily, it's on a D. Except a man be born again, he cannot enter, he cannot see the kingdom of the Messiah. Right? So you've been born again. You understand? You've been born through the Spirit. You understand? You've been born through the Spirit. So the ways that you once dealt with or you once learned, right? You gotta put aside now. And this is really a response to the elders video in Texas. Apply wisdom behind enemy lines, you know what I mean? But really, um through the spirit, the Lord is fine tuning our character. The Lord is fine-tuning and making us kings. The mindset we are having is, is really being elevated because all we knew in this world was to be carnal all the time. Right? That's how we've been taught. We've taught to be carnal all the time. Psalms 106. Psalm 106 and verse 35. But we're mingled among the heathen and learn their works. See? So we were among the heathen. And we learned all their works, man. And all their works were, 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 were carnal. All their works really wasn't life, it was death. So what the Lord is doing with us is He's fine tuning us. And making us live and to be righteous judges. Romans 8, Romans chapter 8, the verse 6. We start at 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So you got to be more spiritual. All we've learned from these heathens is to be carnal and express heathen ways. You know what I mean? What the Lord is doing is he's given us his free spirit. That comes with being holy and pure. You see, he's tripping up, he's tripping away. He's tripping away. The ways we've learned for the scripture says, um, the 
the script this year is Hall in a minute. Ah, so lucky I'm already here. Is one that says, right, Psalms 51, verse 5. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity. But you look at um, a potter when he's shaping, he's making different shapes. He wets the liquid and he has the material in his hands and he's shaping it to how he wants the final product to be. Well, we came into this world, man, and these heathens have shaped us into what we see now. You're seeing GX. All of the order, right? Both men and women. The dress code, the eating habits, the mannerisms, right? But now we've been called by Hamashiach. We are to be a new creature. And that word new means kainos, to be refreshed. We've been refreshed by this word. So the old ways that we had, that we had learned, the Lord is stripping it away. Right? Psalms 51 verse 4, Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. So we were shaped in iniquity, man. Right? We were shaped in sin. Right? So back in Romans 8 and 6, for to be, I'm sorry. Yeah, verse 6 now. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So one thing that the elder said, the elder of reality said, uh, which really hit home for me, right? He said that um, you always want to get your lit back, right? Meaning you always want to be right all the time, right? And um, people consider it weak when you don't retaliate. And I'm guilty of that. You know, so I'm guilty of that. When you don't retaliate, you're considered weak. You understand? But really, like, like the elders said, that was a really a war tactic. And really, our Lord Yahweh Shai was, was the one who laid down that, that example. That way he was found blameless and without spot. So when we come before the governors and the kings and the rulers, we also have, we also have to be found blameless and without spot, meaning... The God, the God tell lies on you. You understand? But <clears throat> in the crowd, somebody can say, "Nah, no, boy, that man do that man do that." You understand? That man do that. You know what I mean? That woman do that. Why want to tell him so much lies? You know what I mean? You say. So we all must be found blameless as well. So what the Lord is doing is taking away all these carnal ways that we were brought up uh, um, that we were that we accumulated in our youth you understand and he's taking it away man it's like Romans 8 and 7 because the carnal mind is enmity with the most high I'm sorry, Romans 8 and 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Mosai, for it is not subject to the law of the Mosai, neither indeed can be. Yeah, if you're carnally minded, you are, you're not under <clears throat> the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You understand? You're under Esau's vibration, and that vibration brings death. You see? First Corinthians. I'm sorry. Um, Galatians six. <clears throat> there we in short, short man. This is gonna be a long video, you know. Galatians 
5, I'm sorry. Galatians 5 and 16, right? This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So, you know, the, the people who are saying in the world, what would Jesus do? WWJD? Well, what does Yahweh Shai say? That way he said, um, love your enemies, pray for them that they spitefully use you, which is going to the brotherhood. You understand? A brother do you wrong, you gotta pray for him. You know what I mean? Right? Because the world is backbiting. You see? The world is full of backbiters and and and, and um, people that are that are full of incredulity. You see? So the Lord has given us the tools to win. Galatians 5 and 17 for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So in other words it's a fight. Here the brother said is a, is a, is a spiritual battle that we're really in. The flesh wants you to be crawling all the time. The flesh wants you to be greedy. The flesh wants you to be lustful. The flesh wants you to be um, the, the flesh wants you to, to be in that, in that desire all the time. Which leads to death. The flesh wants you to be covetous. You know what I mean? Etc. Verse 18. But if you be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery. The flesh wants you <clears throat> to go back to that way. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right? So that's what the flesh wants you to do all the time. And that's what we have learned from Esau Edom. You understand? But the Lord is teaching us different. It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Meaning what the Spirit is going to bring forth. What's going to be born of the Spirit is love. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Woo! Whoa, boy. So if you're exhibiting these things, boy, <laughs> Really, you can't get judged because you already displaying a spiritual conversation. It's like, and they that are, you have a show, have crucified the flesh. You see that? So, what we're doing is we're making what the scripture says in Colossians. Uh, hold a minute, Baba Kusha, which means please. Colossians chapter 3 and verse um, Colossians 3 and 5 modify which means the dead modify therefore your members which are upon the earth for an occasion you gotta put that off make that dead and cleanness make that dead in ordinary affection made that dead evil concupiscent which means lust evil lust lusting after a man woman lusting after a man's possessions etc right and covetousness which is idolatry for rich things see the wrath of the Messiah cometh on the children of disobedience you see so the world carried the change 
in the which he also walked sometimes when he lived in them. Come on, man. That's all we knew. So now we're going to make these members dead. You see? But now he also put up all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. You see that? That we got to do, B. That we got to do even more. And, and that video the brothers did really cemented <coughs> this strong ability. I, I honestly thought, um, you know, getting a lit back was a display of strength. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. I honestly thought that, that was a display of strength. But you know, there's a saying, silence is golden. You know what I mean? But really, when you follow the ways of the Lord, this is really golden. Because the Lord said that He's going to avenge you. He's going to work on your behalf, B, because you are showing that you're believing and trusting in Him. You see? It says, verse Colossians 3 and 9, Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. So in the brotherhood, you can't be like the people in the world. Be straight with one another and be loyal to one another. Even when you're in the world now, you got to still display this attribute, man. Because remember, these people seeing you over there on the highways and hedges, you know. And they're waiting for you to slip up. You see? They're waiting for you to slip up. So you still got part of this here when you ain't clock can't mode, man. Verse 10, Colossians 3, verse 10. And I've put on the new man. You see? That's what we're doing. We've been refreshed. We've been awakened by our Lord, B. And I've put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge. You see that? we got the knowledge of the Lord now. And the image of him that created him. Woo! The image of who? Yahweh. You see that? Whoa, boy. Um... So lock here a minute. Then I get one last preset here. Romans 13 and 14. But put ye on the Lord Yahavashah Yahmashiach and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. I want to call that word provision, boy. Hold a minute. Well, look at that word provision. Me not provision for the flesh, boy. Right? Romans 13 and 14. And that word provision. Comes from the Greek word pronoia. For a thought that is that is provident care or supply. Don't supply the flesh with these things, man. Don't supply the flesh with idolatry, with scribe, hatred, variance, emulations, etc. B. You understand? Providence. Don't don't do that, man. You gotta put it off. Right? Romans 13 40, but put you on the law, you have a show in Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You see that? The desire, what is forbidden? You see that? What is forbidden? So you got to walk in the spirit, Russell I got to walk more in the spirit, man. And I know my, I know. The areas I gotta focus on, right? The Lord said, cleanse the leaven. Those brothers up there, through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh identified it. You understand? So now, bram, it's me to execute it. So you're here doing this video, you know what I mean? Um, because we're coming into a time where a lot of fingers can be pointing at you, at me. And the scripture said, who when he was reviled, reviled not again. Right? Speaking of our Lord, huh? This is uh, First Peter 
22 or 23 right who when he was reviled is our Lord Yahweh Shai the word reviled reproached that is vilified reversed so we were reproached when you make a scribe and Pharisee they, they reproached our Lord two thirds of our people reproached our Lord they said let his blood be on us and our children when he was reviled reviled not again so he didn't he didn't reproach them he remained blameless he stuck to the scriptures when he suffered he threatened not but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously so we gotta do the same thing give over ourselves to the Lord Yahweh Shai because he said he's gonna fight our battles you know what I mean Yeah, so I can close. Um, yeah, so put you on the law, you have a shy, you know what I mean? Right, to become that to become that new man, you know what I mean? To become that new man. So that we can come forth as gold, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, so all praises on the glory to you, how Hashem, you have a shy, but Hashem Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders. And the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom.